Hello everyone, welcome back for another video. Uh, today we're going to talk about neck training, but not neck training like I already did in a full neck training guide video that you can find a link above somewhere, um, but actually for total complete beginners and especially for people um, that are really young, like teenagers, or that are very, very fragile and do, do not have much muscle. Um, so again, teenager, could be woman, could be very skinny man, could be someone that is rehabbing from an injury, for example. This is going to be a video that is going to showcase how you can train your neck at home without any equipment but your own body weight. And in that case, your head weight. This is actually something that I did myself for many years when I was doing combat sport when I was younger. So between especially um, when I was 13, even 12 to about 15 years old and would, would gave me a good base for training neck but also made me quite a few solid gains accounts that I was only doing what I will show you and I was uh, I was like I don't know maybe something like 55 kilogram uh, so under 130 pounds of body weight and still my neck was already looking really kinda decent so we're going to see this together um, and uh, yeah, let's hop in. So the only thing you will need to do this kind of workout is actually just something where you can lay down um, with your head, which is unsupported. So it can be, for example, your bed, it can be a sofa, um, it can be a table, it can be anywhere where you can lay down and your head will be like in space, not supported. and. Um, I will show you how you can actually train your neck in that fashion for, again, total beginners. It is low stress. Uh, if you have never trained your neck, it will of course hurt. You will feel like you've got, uh, you got a fever and uh, maybe even uh, a slight headache because you're not used to having your head moving a lot. Um, I recommend closing your eyes at first um, if you feel no juice, but if you prefer to keep them open, you can. And what is up guys? So this is going to switch on the voiceover. I'm going to show you the neck curl exercise. So you can see me starting to get in a position, not too far, not too close. You have to have your head free, but your shoulders supported. Then you go down, you try to look the wall um, or even the ground with, with behind you. And then you try to do a double chin. This is basically the, the, the cue that you should have. It's not to propel the head forward. It's to actually just curl the neck. So try to make a double chin and that will be more than enough. Exact same thing for the neck extension, which is for the back of the neck. Uh, you go not too far, not too forward, not too far, just right, back here. And then yet again, double chin, and then you look up. Uh, do not go with an excessive range of motion because it can hurt and give you a zinger and also make you uh, feel really stunned for a few, a few seconds, especially when you're not used to it. You have to remember, I'm making this video for total beginner with a neck training. So if you have never trained your neck, you have to understand that it is really weird at first, just because it's going to uh, shake a lot. Then what you can do is facing fr uh, the, the ceiling, so facing forward, you will do a, a no gesture. This, is, this will work isometrically um, the stenocladio occipital mastoid muscle, which are the big muscle, the big chunk of either side of the neck. And you can do the exact same thing, but on the side, which is the more advanced version. And you will isolate better uh, each side from each other. So this is really good to uh, build the muscle and connective tissues just under the ears and also uh, on the other side of the base of the neck to really have lateral chains muscles that are balanced and even out on each side. So you can see me doing it also here. And uh, you might maybe wonder why is there some upper back movement there? And it's because the muscles that we're working here are actually also attached in the upper back between the shoulder blade. So actually doing neck training, especially neck rotation and uh, neck extension can also help you with your upper back musculature. So. This is something that you can keep in mind when you will be training your neck for a uh, more intense and heavier set. And here I'm just facing the wall, the, the ground and doing again the same gesture, a no gesture. And this is going to do exactly the same as what I just showed 
on the side, but both sides, a bit less range of motion, and of course, an easier variation. So start with the first and the last variation I just showed, and then you can try for each side. Then you have the lateral side um, bend, which is exactly like uh, the movement we showed earlier, but this is going to be much more focused on the um, connective muscle on the side of the neck and also again the scum, the sternocleidocipital muscle, which are the front part. Um, these muscles are really thick and they should be the focus of your training when doing a neck, um, especially when you just want it to be as big as possible. Um, I'm showing everything of course, but you can, you, you are not uh, obliged or forced to do everything I showed you. The goal is to do two up to four variations of this exercise for high rep and about um, one or two months after, even three months, if you really want to be on the safer side, start to weight yourself in. But if you do not have access to weights, here is what you can do. So you remember for the neck curl and neck extension, what you can simply use is your hand weight. You just put them on your head. This will add a few kilos and just curl away exactly the same and this is also another angle that you can see where i'm actually just um, doing a double chin motion so then what you can do is also do exactly the same while you're doing your neck extension putting your head on the back of your head and just doing your neck extension as normally do not pressure too much your neck do not push your head into your head and you'll be just fine. As simple as this, as you can see, leg training isn't that complicated, especially when you're beginning um, and it doesn't require much. It just needs you to be a bit disciplined. And of course, as we say, when there is a will, there is a way. Now, if you want to take up your neck training to the next level, to have really the biggest neck possible, to have a stronger neck, to strengthen it for combat sport, contact sport, if you're doing, for example, football, MMA, wrestling, or if you just want to have a more intimidating um, and also manly look, I recommend to use my sponsor, which is Neckflex, which is of course also the best neck harness. I have using it. I have been using it since um, about one year and a half now, uh, and I have only uh, good things to say about them. Uh, it's a really cool arnek harness. It is uh, the most uh, versatile arnek there is, and it is also very very resilient. So, if you have a uh, budget for training your neck and you want to invest in it, you invest in a neck flex and it will get, uh, last you a lifetime. And there is a sponsor um, link down below in the description. So you can also support my channel, support my activities by buying it from my affiliate link. So I thank you for it. Uh, as you can see, I filmed everything before actually filming this. So now you have actually a semi-pumped neck for me. And I don't know if there is that much of a big difference, but I can actually already feel it. So. There is maybe some people that will feel that it is not inadequate, that it is not adequate, it is inefficient, it is a waste of time, it's useless. It is not. This is how you can build a base. This is how you can condition at first your neck. Uh, in the meantime, putting money on the side to get an harness like this, or um, while the gym are closed, or you can go to a gym and you can't train effectively hard and heavy. Um, I will make other videos about neck training. There will be a full playlist tutorial on every neck training and exercise possible. And uh, for this, I would like you to subscribe. Of course, um, comment down below your thoughts on this video. Uh, click on the like if you have liked this video and I will appreciate the support. And I'll see you very soon for another video. So thank you for it again and take care. Bye.